Well, hello and welcome to the show. I'm so glad you've joined us again this week. We're going to have a really good time. I've got Lisa Gentilly here with me and Justin Hatfield. They have both ridden with me for years. They're both some of my certified trainers. They do a fantastic job every year bringing horses to our sale. I'm really proud of both of them, honestly. And we wanted to do something a little different this year. What I want to do is bring out a bunch of horses and one at a time I'm going to have them go through, look them over, and choose a couple of horses for them for the next year for our sale program. And I'm going to have them explain what they're looking for and why. All of that's coming up right here on Discovering the Horseman Within. Gonna take a ride on one true horse. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give these guys about a minute and a half or two minutes. Tell them what I know about the horse. They've got to make a snap decision. Justin, this is a four-year-old, uh, fairly well-started horse. He is a grandson of Pepta Boonsmall on the top side, uh, out of a fairly nice ranch bred mare on the bottom. This is the kind of horse that's going to be an athlete. You're going to have a lot of fun with him. Yeah. Cow horse, ranch horse type. Uh, probably not the horse that's going to fit absolutely everybody, but he is going to fit a certain number of people really well and yeah. the kind you're going to have fun on. For sure. Okay, perfect. Well, yeah, what, I'm, what I kind of look for is, like you said, I kind of want a cow bred, ranch bred style horse that can go out and cover some country. Uh, doesn't mind chasing a cow down, so that's, that's turn, a good thing. Let's turn him around and bring him this way. Let him see both sides. I kind of like a good young horse, you know, something that's got a good start on it that I can kind of take on and, and see where he is. I like, I just like the way this horse is put together. It's, he's got the color and the flash uh, to go with it. Um, I, in my opinion, he's a, he's a darn cute looking little horse that would All be right. nice as a five year old. Time's up, get us a new horse. So he's gonna go through five or six horses like this and then have to come back and make decisions on which one he's keeping. Justin, what you've got here is a six-year-old grandson of Sunfrost. This horse is really fairly quiet and gentle, athletic and intelligent, okay. uh, but definitely the kind of horse that I wouldn't have any trouble putting my whole family on, For sure. uh, including my mother. This is a nice, quiet horse. For sure. Well, and like, like we've talked about, I, I like a horse that goes out and covers country, but I also want something that I can throw my wife on or put my little daughter on with me too. So the family style is there. I, I like the way this horse is put together confirmation-wise. He's just, he's just right all the way through from his head down, down through his legs. He seems straight. He seems just kind of quiet with a nice eye to him. That's, that's for sure. He seems like a nice colt. Okay, that's it. Next horse. So Justin, here you've got another Sunfrost grandson. This is a nine-year-old. Okay. Very quiet horse. Now you're seeing these guys in their everyday working clothes. They've not been cleaned up. They've been out on the ranch. So you're going to have to visualize what they're going to look like in the sale. It always takes kind of an imagination when you're looking a year or so out. Ideally, this horse needs to pack another 50 to 75 pounds. For sure. Uh, but right now he's honestly in riding shape. Yeah, for sure, for sure. No, he seems like a nice, a really nice horse. I, I like the way this horse is put together. Um, there's a few things about him. I mean, he's like you said, he could take a little bit more weight, but I mean, he seems like he's he's kind and gentle. He just has kind of a good eye about him. Um, yeah, a little bit of an older horse. Yeah, uh, yeah. The others who've looked up been a little younger. Something solid that might just be just right for, like I said, that family style horse that we were talking about that just would fit the wife or, or your your mother. You know. Yeah. Yep. Perfect. Let's move him on. Next horse. Okay, so here you've got another young horse, Justin. This is a four-year-old. Okay. He is a son of Stormy, so oh, wow. he's a Peppy Sandbred horse on the top and out of a Doc Tom Tucker mare. Okay. Uh, you're looking at about 30 rides, a good solid start, quiet and gentle, but a long ways from finished. Yeah, for sure. Gosh, he sure is shapey the way he's put together, and he's he's fat too. That's that's never a bad thing. No, he, he looks good. He's in really good shape. Yeah. Real brilliant sorrel color. Yeah, for sure. That dark yeah. rich, you you don't find that every day in a sorrel horse. We're uh, we're not offering you much for color choices. You no. can have yellow or red. Yellow or sorrel, but that's okay. Right. That's okay. No, he's he's a nice, really nice looking little horse, like I said, but. Um, 
he seems like the type of horse you'd want to take on in maybe the performance style world, you mm -hmm. know? He, he looks like he'd pack a really deep stop and really wants to carry himself around really nice. Uh, I'd want to go make a calf horse out of him or something absolutely. like that, you know? Absolutely, That's what I'd want out of him. Yep, but absolutely. But he, he is a really nice, he, gosh, you've got a good, a good pen of horses here to look at. Good, all right, Lisa, get him out of here. Next one. So you've looked at four or five already. We've got one more we're gonna show you. Anybody already catching your eye? I don't know, that bald-faced sorrel horse, he just, he's an eye catcher right off the bat. He just is. the color of him, the way he's put together, yeah, and he's young. I like the way he would just had a, a kind demeanor about him, yeah. you know? He just Absolutely. caught that right off the bat, too. Okay, so Justin, here you've got a four-year-old grandson of Six's picks. Okay. Um, you know, for me, it's important that we start our young horses right. This is a horse that we started uh, much like the sorrel horse, it's you know it's spring of his four-year-old year. He's ready to go to work right now. You're looking at about uh, 20 to 30 rides. Okay. Really quiet, yep. really gentle. For sure. Nothing, nothing evil or vile about him. Yeah, for sure. He sure seems like he has a quiet eye to him. He just a, a good demeanor about himself. He's put together yeah. as a nice little horse. I kind of like his color. He's not that everyday Palomino that you see out and about. He's just kind of got a cool color with that gray tail to him. Mm -hmm. um, he is a little bit smaller than kind of what I, I typically dra uh, drift might, to might as a tall guy, you dirt. know? Um, yeah. But he, he is a nice looking little colt that... Um, and he's a he, thick made horse. Yeah, he is. He's going to grow he's, into something the old really saying, he's awful solid. big for little. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, but you're right. You for know, sure. honestly, you're looking at a horse that's right now he's hitting 142 and at 64, that's probably a touch short. Yeah. Yeah, maybe just a little bit a little bit on the small side, but I can't knock him in any other way than that. Perfect. Okay, so here you've got a 9-year-old grandson of Gallo de Cielo. Oh wow. Ah, uh, thick made gentle quiet horse. This for is sure. Now, I'm, I'm going to tell you honestly, for his breeding, he's not the athlete that his bloodlines and you know kind of okay. yeah. suggest. Yeah. But definitely a big, thick made horse. Yeah, uh, he is. Need to grow a tail out on him a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyways, but go that for can it. be done for sure. No, he is a thick, solid fellow. That's for sure. For sure. No, in my opinion, Ken. He's a nice horse. I mean, yeah. you can't you can't look at him and say that he's not. No, There's nothing no. about him that says that he's bad. Um, he is thick and solid. Looks like he latched onto a cow on him out in the pasture, and he'd right. handle his own just fine. Yeah. Um, if he's a little bit on the late, not as much of an athlete, that's okay though. If he's gentle and he's quiet, you know. Right. If he'll fit the family, then that's just that's just perfect, you know. Absolutely. But he is a good-looking, cute horse that I wouldn't mind having in my pen. That's for sure. Great. I'm having a lot of fun with this, and it's kind of my game, so I get to make up the rules. Yeah. Two minutes or less, Justin, make your pick and explain it. Make for your first pick. We'll my, do it twice. Okay, my first pick. So as we came through, like like I said, I mean, I can't knock any one of these horses. They're all quality horses that I think would be just right for kind of what we're after. Um, but right off the bat, I'm going to pick this, this Palomino horse right down here on the end. Okay. I'm just going to say... Uh, with his demeanor, the way he handles himself, kind of his breeding, um, I think he's going to fit like a glove for what I'm after. Okay. Uh, for at least one of one of the horses, you know, he's going to be, in my mind, hopefully that family style horse that anybody will get along with. Just kind of a gentle, have some ride around to him, have some fanciness to him because he can probably. Um, but but he's probably my, my number one pick out of the pen. All right, we'll take him out of the lineup. Okay, two minutes or less. You got one more horse to pick out. Okay, number two, I, I kind of want a younger horse. Okay. Uh, something athletic that we can take on and go with. Uh, I'm gonna pick the sorrel horse down here on the end. The okay, the Pepti sorrel Guzmal horse. horse. Yep. Okay. One, the Pepti Guzmal, he's got the athletic ability, or he yep. should have the athletic ability that I'm looking for and that I'm after. Um, and two, he's just got that cool color about him. You know, he's got the neat blaze face to him, the high white socks. Yeah. Uh, kind of reminds you of John Wayne. Yeah, yeah. Something that John Wayne would darn sure ride. Um, also, just his demeanor about himself. He's just got a quiet eye, you know. Mm -hmm. He may not be super broke right now, but I say in his lifetime, uh, in the time that we have him, I guess, that by next year he'll be, he should be solid for anybody to get along with. He just kind of seems that, that quiet, quiet mind that you kind of want in one. You know, it's, that's one of the great things about this time of year. It's hard, we sell all our good horses, but we get to start all over. Yeah, And it's fun sure. and exciting to see where they're gonna go. For sure, that's all it. All right, get him out of here. Sounds good, thank you. There are lots of methods in the world. 
you're here to learn mine for the next three weeks. Well, you guys, welcome to the three-week program. We are gonna have so much fun over the next three weeks. You are going to have a life-changing experience. Uh, I hope you came ready to be tired, ready to be sore, ready to learn. We are gonna work exceptionally hard, but we're gonna have a ton of fun. I think uh, one of the things that explains this program probably the best is wherever we go, we have fun. We have a good time. 97 to 98% of American horse enthusiasts do this for fun. That means 2% of us have the right to be grumpy because some people don't like their jobs. <laughs> right? No. That's what this is about. I want to send you guys home uh, ready to start your own businesses, ready to increase your business, ready to just enjoy your horse in the backyard, but with a knowledge base that is unparalleled to anything you've ever had. That's, that's our goal. Our goal is to take you from where you are to where you want to go. There are 13 of you here. You're all going to be at different levels. So from where you are to where you want to go is not the same for every single person. So you need to remember during the next three weeks when you look up and you see somebody doing something really cool that you're not doing yet, you'll get there eventually. You're not there yet. Use that as motivation to move forward in your own program. Lisa, Justin kind of got the advantage of first pick. On the other hand, you have the upper hand in that you really already know some of these horses a little bit better. Right, right. Yeah, I'm interested to see what he chose and see what the lineup is. Okay, so you remember you've got two minutes to look at him. I'm going to tell you what I know. He's going to take him on out of here. Okay. Then we'll go make a final decision. All right. All right. Okay, so you, you kind of remember this horse. This is a four-year-old son of Stormy. He's got about 30 to 40 rides on him. He yep. was by a, a Tom Tucker mare, or out of a Tom Tucker mare. Really yep. quiet, nicely started, ready to go on for the next year. Yeah, yeah, no, I remember his mom and I really enjoyed riding her and she had a great personality. I actually halter broke this baby as a weanling and man, he's gotten big. Like I really, really, truly enjoyed his size. Um, I love that he's stout, but he's not, he's not too tall. He's pretty thick. He could carry just about anybody around and um, he would definitely be a perfect package for just about everybody. That Real quiet to disposition, sale. nice structure. Yeah, he's got pretty. some really good legs to him. And okay, time up. Yep. Justin, oh. move him on. Got to keep it quick here. Keep it quick. So what you've got here, Lisa, is a six-year-old quarter horse mare, kind of a uh, trail pleasure bred mare, real nice, very quiet, very gentle, very easy to be around. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. She reminds me of Ruby that was in our past sale, and I really enjoyed Ruby, and um, I had caught this horse out in the pasture uh, just a few days ago, and man, she was just such a love bug. I really enjoyed how calm and quiet she was, and she just truly enjoyed my attention and being around me, and I think that is so important. Um, I really like her size, and she would definitely cover some country and be a good family horse, I think. All right, time up, air. move this one, bring us another one. Okay, so here you've got a nine-year-old grandson of Sunfrost. Very quiet, gentle, not terribly handy, but he feels like he could get that way. Right. Uh, but, a, but a nice dispositioned horse. Right, yeah, no, I really like him. Again, I love his size. Um, and the fact that he might not be that handy is okay because I feel like there's a, a lot of people that just really want to enjoy a nice evening trail ride and and maybe they're not out moving cows or need to get out in front of a cow, but he sure could, he sure could do both, definitely. Um, and he's cute. Okay, you've got a uh, five-year-old uh, ranch horse bred kind of horse here. He is absolutely fantastic. This is a half-brother to Chapo that I rode last year. Uh, very quiet, very gentle, definitely an athlete. Really nice horse. Yeah, I really like him, and he definitely does look like Chapo quite a bit, and I really enjoyed I really enjoyed riding him. It's a really good horse. That's all? That's kind of all. Are you I afraid I'm going to cut you <laughs> off again? You're going to cut me off again. All yeah, right. he's a beaut. <laughs> I, think, I think she's already passed yeah. on this one, Justin. <laughs> Move him on. I, she did love Chapo, but evidently she's moved on. Okay, you've looked at four. We've only got right. two left to look at. Anybody grabbing your attention so far? You know, I really enjoy all of them and I would pick all of them. I think that they're all a little bit different and are gonna cater to a different customer throughout our sale, but I'm gonna keep it a secret till the end. Oh, wow, well, that was <laughs> worth the time we spent on it. Okay, next horse, bring us a horse. 
So Lisa, what you have here is a nine-year-old grandson of Gallo de Cielo. And of course, we have an own son of the rooster here. Um, this horse is quiet and gentle. Maybe not quite as athletic as his bloodlines would lead you to believe. Sure. But a very nice moving horse, very gentle acting. Yeah, I really love his eye. And again, this actually looks like a twin of my sale horse, Chauncey, in the sale a um, few years ago. I mean, looks identical, and I loved his disposition. You can tell right away he's He's good size, he's stout, but he's just got a real sweet eye to him and he doesn't really seem to care about much. Well, she had a lot more to say about this one, Justin. I did. I'm telling you. All right, next horse. Lisa, here's another really nice started four-year-old, about 30 rides on him, good yep. quiet colt. Uh, if you go back far enough, there's a little bit of Hancock bloodlines in there. Sure. But a, a nice moving colt. This horse loped really smooth, really nice. Um, just a, a solid built, great young horse. Yeah, I do. His size is great. He's got some great confirmation to him. I feel like he would definitely go any direction. For only four, he seems super quiet and I feel like he could really be for somebody that's out on the ranch or just wants a colorful horse going down the trail. He will I, be a blue roan every day of his life. Yeah, he will. He's a flashy one. I like him a lot. All right, time's up. Move him on. Okay, so Lisa, in the next segment, you're going to have two minutes per horse. You've looked at six. You have to choose two. Okay. You have, you'll be given two minutes, make your choice, and explain it all at the same time. Okay. All right. All right, we'll move over there. Okay, so you have to pick your first horse. You've got two minutes to pick him and explain your reason why. Okay, I don't know how Starting Justin now. did this. This is hard, I want them all. Okay, I've been going <laughs> really back and forth on a few. Um, I think I'm, I'm gonna go with this bay horse. Okay. I really, it's really more a gut feeling. I loved my Chauncey horse. I actually sold him to a gal that had um, very little experience and he had the same kind eye. I really just kind of going off that gut and I really love his size and his build. Um, I think he's just gonna be a perfect package for, for just about anybody. And I think with his personality, he's gonna really build confidence in people. He does seem to have that real quiet disposition. Yeah, he? so I'm just gonna okay. kind of follow my give, gut. We're gonna give him, a, you're, you're sure that's your decision? Yeah. Okay, Yep. we'll move him on. Okay. Okay, so you have five horses left. Yes. One decision to make. You've taken a horse that you know will fit everybody. Right. Uh, starting now, two minutes. Two minutes, okay. You're kind of drawn to that blue uh, round I aren't really you? want them, I really, but you know what? I kind of got to go to my home roots here with my little sorrel colt. His mother definitely had the key to my heart and I think that Lisa. he is going to be pretty cool. I feel like he's going to, He's gonna go a different direction for somebody that really wants a great ranch horse um, and can carry somebody all day. But I think at the same time, you could tune him up and definitely go somewhere maybe in the performance um, point of view and enjoy that piece or just love him and go down the trail. I just love his builds. He's not flashy, but he is just... But there's a lot to be said for riding family history. Yeah, yeah, right? it is. And I'm excited I mean, I'm finally at this point. Like, right. I mean, you, you had a chance to ride his mother a lot. Yeah. Sassy was an amazing mare. Right. Uh, and then Stormy, I'm with him on the road all the time. So right. So you see get what to see the heritage. Yeah, see what he's going to bring and what Again, he's going to do. We said that's kind of the upper hand you had over Justin. Justin got to pick first, but on the other hand, you know a lot of these horses better. Uh, being full time at the ranch all the time, you know them a little bit better. Yeah. Uh, I think you picked well. I good think job. I did too. I can't wait to see what Justin picked. Thoroughness is being attentive to accuracy and detail. In short, it's finishing the job. It's going the whole way, right? I was 14 years old and I was given a job to dig an asparagus ditch. This ditch had to be 13 inches wide at the bottom, 15 inches wide at the top, and 14 inches deep for quite a length in pretty rough country. So I dug it 
and I had it pretty good. I measured my favorite spots and I went in and I told my boss, I said, I've got the ditch done. And she came out and it was about a 20 foot long ditch and she measured it and it didn't measure up. And she came back to me and she said, young man, if it's worth doing, it's worth doing right the first time. And I finished the ditch and I've never forgot the lesson. To be thorough is to finish what you started, right? And don't get easily discouraged. That can happen. You can start in on something and you're, oh, I'm never going to make it. There's always a way. There's always a way. There's a, there's a great little book out. It's an old book and it's called The Go-Getter. I encourage all of my employees to read it. It's an incredible story about finishing what you start. It's, it's only about 57 small pages, very easy to read, but it changed my life when I read that book. I realized, you know what? All I have to do is finish what I start and there is a way. Be thorough. When you're at a block, at a roadblock, stop, sit down, figure out what do I need to do to finish this so that I can thoroughly be done with this job. When we want to do something, we want to go the whole way, right? Think about cleaning your stalls. If you walk in and clean half the stall, you might as well not clean the stall at all. You want the stall to be nice and clean and fresh when you're done. To finish a job, honestly leaves you feeling so much better. When you have done everything, you've been complete, you've taught, you know you've talked to your kids and told them, look, get the whole job done, not just part of it. But when you've been on the other side of that and you finish the job, you feel so much better for the effort you put in. Okay, so the point behind all of this, I have watched both of you over the last several years and I think both of you are absolutely incredible horsemen. I love people who set goals, you both do that. I love people with a competitive spirit. That is both of you. Here's the deal. Between now and next first Saturday and next June, these four horses, you guys doing whatever you want to market them, whether you sell them privately before or sell them at the sale. The competitor with the highest sale value of these two horses will absolutely walk away with a brand new Ken McNabb uh, all-around cutter saddle. So Perfect. it is game on. Perfect. Get out your Facebook, get out your social media, do whatever it is you're there doing, wherever you're gonna do it, show everybody that, that knows you, that's getting to see you, we're gonna have you both back on television shows. I want you guys to bring me the best horses you can bring me, rather you sell them privately or bring them back to our sale. I want you to show me the best thing you can show me and let's have fun doing it. Awesome. All Sounds right. good. It's Game on. on. Thank you. <laughs> All right. You're going down, Lisa. Yeah, I don't know. I thought we were friends. <laughs> so oh, much for no. friendship. Yeah. Out the I window it goes. I can't see you until, until the Saturday of the sale. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Having fun is a major part of our program. If you meet us on the road, we're laughing and having a good time. If you're at the ranch, we're laughing and having a good time. Honestly, I believe we're incredibly blessed by God to live in this country. We're incredibly blessed to get to do what we do. So why shouldn't we be having a good time doing it? Thank you guys so much for joining us. Until next time, may God bless the trails you ride. Find out more about Ken McNabb horsemanship at KenMcNabb.com. That one true horse Perfect partner built to ride One true horse A bond that cannot be denied You would search forever Just to have the chance To take a ride on one true horse Quiet on the set! What's wrong with y'all? Here we go. We are gonna have a really good time. I have Justin Hatfield and Elise. <laughs> <laughs> Elisa. Who's Elisa? Elisa. Elisa. Thank you, Kurt. Thank you, Kurt. Can you get that a little bit back there?